This is Herpa's uh, 1 500 scale uh, hanger. I'm usually not a fan of um, Herpa's uh, buildings, especially the airport terminal. Um, they don't. I don't think they look as nice, and the assembly requires kind of weird. I'd rather like the um, well, the Gemini uh, terminals, but they don't make one five hundred. Herpa did make a one four hundred hanger, and I think. That was a really nice hanger for the price. Considering that the only other hanger is made by um, Gemini Jazz for one four hundred and really expensive. I reassemble that. And it's pretty easy to assemble. You just keep putting the roof piece
So that's the completed kit. It's a little flimsy, it just comes apart. So, I mean, you don't need any glue, but I think if you glue the parts together, this won't come apart as easily. It is a snap fit. But, as you can see, if I'm just turning it, it makes it come apart. So if you need to, I would recommend gluing it. And then, let me open a few doors. Okay, now I can show you how big it is. Let's bring out some model planes. The 747. Easily fits in there. I think you actually fit two of them in there. Okay, let's see if it could handle a friend. This is a 777. It's a little tight in there, but they both fit. I think that would be all in terms of big plans. Take out seven fifty seven. My American 757. And I believe if you want, you could easily fit four of them inside. Bring out my seven one seven. This one's broken. The pride does need to go to the hanger. Let it is gone. A three hundred. My Eastern Airlines, and it also fits in there with the seven five seven and the seven one seven. And I guess last but not least, it's a seven thirty seven.
tiny one. So I could easily fit four small planes in there. And again, this is actually a pretty nice kit. Um, when you do build it, I suggest gluing it together. It'll hold a lot better. Except for the doors, since you need to take them apart once in a while. 